the Pacific Leadership and Governance Precinct, forging a new generation of Papua New Guinean leaders. There's a fresh optimism among Papua New Guinea's leaders of tomorrow as the Pacific Leadership and Governance Precinct starts to take shape. This new and ambitious undertaking is a partnership between the University of Papua New Guinea School of Business and Public Policy, the PNG Institute of Public Administration, and the governments of PNG and Australia. I want to be an investment analyst. Yes, I want to be able to, you know, advise government. I was hoping that when I took up economics, well, probably when I get out there, I could um, make a difference. My people, especially back at home. It requires a bit of courage. I think it requires uh, you to be forthright. It requires you to actually make a stand. Um, but that's what leadership is about. Leadership, ethics, values. These attributes underpin the precinct's vision. Out of its revitalized institutions, PNG and Australia will work in partnership to open a new chapter in effective leadership for Papua New Guinea. The precinct has had an energetic start since December 2014, when PNG and Australia signed a Memorandum of Understanding, giving it the go-ahead. The scoping, design and tender processes for modern precinct facilities are well underway. Major construction works will follow. UPNG School of Business Administration has been transformed into the School of Business and Public Policy. It will be housed in its own building, containing international standard teaching, research and study areas. The space will promote a new style of education based on inquiry, discussion and adult learning. The nearby PNG Institute of Public Administration will also get new facilities to complete its transformation to the PNG School of Government. The historic Building A has been removed to make way for a new Bully Beef Wing with meeting rooms, administrative offices and a seminar room. A second facility will contain a new learning resource centre and online library, as well as catering facilities that will support joint precinct events in a series of modern seminar spaces. Already, hundreds of future leaders are undertaking precinct short courses and Australian-supported diplomas. Others are benefiting from a new precinct partnership between UPNG and the Australian National University. The precinct will be a hub for debate and collaboration, a role that the participating institutions have traditionally played. These institutions shaped PNG's independence leaders, providing them with the skills and networks to build a nation. At the PNG Administrative College, the future Grand Chief, a young Michael Somare, and his counterparts trained for positions as senior public officials and talked into the night about politics. They started the Bully Beef Club and began to plan for a time when PNG would be run by Papua New Guineans. UPNG's first graduates would also go on to become statesmen and public service leaders. Now, these historic institutions will play a new role in preparing PNG's future leaders as part of the Pacific Leadership and Governance Precinct and will collaborate together through the development of joint leadership events, academic pathways and shared resources, giving our leaders of tomorrow a new opportunity to contribute to the development of Papua New Guinea.